fireflies welcome back um, today I've got a quick little embellishment tutorial to share with you guys um, <laughs> I've got mounds and mounds of scrap laces and fabrics and I just thought it would be really fun to play around and make some of these little quick and easy um, embellishments that we can pin into the journal. You could even use this on a journal cover. I just love these so much and I'm always looking for things because I'm not great with uh, jewelry making but yet I seem to keep buying beads and things like I am experienced at making jewelry and I'm not so <laughs> so it's just time to really try to start making use out of some of this stuff so I'm going to show you how to how to do this I mean it's it's very quick very easy very straightforward um, which is the way I like things <laughs> I can't deal with anything that's too complicated as you know so first of all this is just one of my drawers um, and there's just no organization as you can see at one point I really did try to um, divide things up and stay organized and then that lasted about two days and then it just all went back to the way it was so but you see I've got these beautifully delicate and there's not masses amounts of these but there's lots and lots of little bits and I really try um, with these old old laces like that I try to make those to stretch them as far as I can because they are so beautiful and intricate. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how I come up with these and hopefully it'll, it'll inspire you to start playing around. When I go to um, the thrift, I haven't been to the thrift store since, since COVID-19, but the car boot started back. So I was out there, this is I probably had three or four weeks ago, um, a lady had a, some jewelry. Anytime I see anything that's got, that I can see that I can easily take apart and use, if it's cheap enough, I'll, I'll grab it. And this was like, I think I got this for about a dollar or something. But if you look at how many charms, that's a bargain. <laughs> um, so... That's kind of how I look for things when I'm out and about. Um, that I think that I can, I can make use out of without too much um, effort. <laughs> because as I said, I'm, I just jewelry making just is one of the things. Never really, I've tried, and it's just it's like knitting or crocheting. I cannot, I just can't do it. I, I don't have an interest in it. And so what's the point? Um, so I've just kind of given up on it. Um, maybe in a few years I'll feel differently. But right now I'm just, I'm just not that bothered. I have enough to keep me busy, honestly. Um, so this one, I've got a little bulb pen. And as you can see, I've just added that little bit um, to it. I might... You could you can add as much or as little as you want. I, I don't want it to be too thick um, and bulky, but I love the idea of this one because look, it's got three charms on the one. So what I'm going to do is try... Uh-oh. Oh, gosh, I've lost that one now. I'm going to try to find... a way to get this one off. I should have did this ahead of time, guys. I'm sorry. I try to be more organized. Where'd that one go? It had several on it. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm just trying to see where... Oh, goodness. My... Alright, i got to take my glasses off. <laughs> I wear glasses, but I don't need reading glasses yet, and so... Um, they've, they've given me a very focal, and um, if it's anything really close, I just have to take them off like this. Okay. Okay, hopefully I've got it that time. Yep. 
so I'm going to try to carefully get that off. It's kind of funny because my daughter doesn't really, she's not a crafter. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's anything I do she kind of bucks against. But, at one point, she, she kind of was playing around with jewelry making and honestly, she's got a real knack for it. But, she's, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, she doesn't take an interest in anything for very long. But it's a shame because I could see that she could have really developed that skill. But she's a funny old thing. I love her dearly, but boy, she, she didn't take anything after me. She doesn't like to bake. Uh, she can cook sp spaghetti, and I think that's about it. <laughs> or Thank God she married an Italian. Because uh, I bet that boy didn't realize he was going to have spaghetti for life. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? These girls, they just, uh, she's my only daughter, so I don't know if that's a, if that's, if you've got two or three daughters, maybe, maybe you get lucky and one of them it shows an interest in what you do. But, um, but boy, she, she, so far, she's had zero interest in anything that, that I've tried to teach her. Maybe that should tell me my teaching skills weren't so great. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's funny. I'm sorry. I'm still, I'm trying. This is why I can't be a jeweler. Is that what? A, yeah, jeweler, jewelry maker. Because, uh, look at that. Just trying to get that together because I want to make sure that doesn't come off of that bulb pin. Ah! Gosh, yeah. I think I think now you guys know why I don't. Now with these, what I did was I just ran, because I had three bits, actually that's got four bits of lace. I ran it th through the machine and just did a couple of stitches back and forth just to hold it together. But this one, with it just being uh, these three, I'm not going to worry about it. And the other thing, if you stitch it, it'll kind of hold. Actually, I will. I'll run it over and do a quick stitch. I'll be right back. I'll just leave the camera running, guys. Well, I thought that was going to be quick, but of course my thread came out, so I had to re-thread the machine. Let me just cut off those excess. That's always the way when you think it's going to be something quick, um, it doesn't work out. Okay, so I just ran a, th a stitch through that, and you can see, I mean, it, it's there's not much to it, but um, the other thing, got some of these little hearts and I just think it's just that little bit extra that just kind of pulls everything together. So I thought we'd just play around with a couple of these because the other thing I thought would be fun to do some um, stitching. With some buttons and just play around with some different things. I love that because it's a nice way to keep those little, those pretty little bits of the delicate um, laces. And how simple is that? But it's going to be so pretty on it. Let me grab a page so I can show you. So you've got several ways you could um, you could do this. 
you could um, you could just glue it, put a glob of your Fabri-Tac, and look at how pretty would that be. Or if you've got a fabric pocket, I don't think this one's got a fabric. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, if you've got a fabric pocket, you could just run, attach it with your little bulb pin. But you could also just have that on, on a little pocket, and then that would be dangling off the bottom of the journal. So I think that's really, really pretty. Um, all right, get my glasses back on now, and let's make a few more. See, that one's really simple, but I'm thinking that's more for a uh, nature because you got some greens and things but I got a couple of these shabby chic done so that's good and then I don't know let's just play around and see so I've got another drawer here this one actually has just been cleared out some so I might not find a whole lot I see that's a pretty, I love that. That's vintage um, fabric I've had. I'm going to make one out of that for sure. I love stuff like this because it's, oh, look at that piece. See? Oh, I just, I just love it because you can take just the dinkiest little piece and even that with some of that some bark cloth. That would be actually, that would be very pretty with that one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And I, what I love about it is it just takes tiny, tiny pieces. And you can just make it so pretty. And so yeah, I just play around. If I like it, great. If I don't, I can always take it off. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Um, you can always take it off and uh, do something different. Now this one I think is going to be really pretty to run through the machine and stitch those I think together. So I've got enough I can do that. Another one of those. Let me see what else I got that might go with this. I love this um, this lace. Look at that. It's got the tiny hearts on it. I just love that. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Because I think that would be very sweet. And then this one I'm going to, I'm going to glue that one on, but first I'm going to stitch those. So let me Stitch this quickly. Okay guys, so that one, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on that. Just to hold that there. And then this one, I think I'd like to sew a little couple of buttons on that.
let's see, do we want three or just two? Okay, I definitely want that blue. I think that needs, but I thought it'd be kind of pretty to have another one. I don't know, two, you, you're supposed to have it odd, aren't you? And I don't know, if it feels like three is just too many. It shouldn't take this long, should I? But see, this is why everything I do just takes me ages. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go with the three because I feel like two would just be weird. <laughs> that's, that's all I can think of. It'd just, it'd just be weird. I don't know. I got that out thinking I might use it, but... Um, I'm not really into those colors at the moment because I've been whew, really enjoying the pastels, so I think I'm just going to stick with making making some things that are suited toward this, the um, softer colored nature journals and then vintage shabby, you know, that kind of thing. That, that's where, where my mind is right now. I know we're coming into, we'll be in autumn soon, and I don't know if I'm going to do, uh, I'm trying to think if I did autumn journals last year, I must have, but for some, yeah, I did do a couple, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do them this year or not, um, just going to have to see if, um, oh, what have I done? Oh my gosh, what is going on with me today? Well, I don't even know. This is why I can't talk and work on here, guys. I've, I've totally messed that one up. Um, so, I don't know. I hope I get the chance to because I've got... I've still got some beautiful um, autumn leaves and uh, trims and things that I'd like to get into one, but... I kind of have a feeling with having devoted so much time to these Christmas journals that it's probably just not going to happen. Alright, I'll try this again. Jeez, ow, I don't know what's going on with me today. But I do, I do love autumn. It's my favorite season, to be honest. Um, I love the cool mornings and the leaves changing, everything about it. It's just, oh, I so love autumn. When you're in a place that you can experience autumn, obviously Florida, you just, uh, you didn't know from one season to the next, really. And South Georgia is the same. You don't, you don't, you used to, when we first moved to South Georgia, you, you got a lot more cold weather than what, what we get now, but, oh, I do, I like the change of seasons, guys, and seriously, I'm thinking Alaska might, might have to be where we go, because it's getting too hot, even in the, um, The states, the northern states, man, they're getting ridiculous humidity this year. And I'm just thinking, oh no. When I get settled, i got to be someplace away from that humidity and heat. Okay. Sorry, I just grabbed a drink of water. So you can see... Those are so simple, and, and like I said, it's just another way to use up just those tiny little bits of lace and scraps that hopefully you've been throwing into a drawer when you when you finish something because, um, gosh, I can't, I mean, I make snippet rolls. Let me see if I've got my latest snippet rolls handy here, guys, I could share with you. I 
I mean, these have d been dwindled down because I, I like to use these for pockets and tabs and things. But um, this is what I'm talking about when I just throw everything into a drawer and then, see, that's some really delicate lace. And then I just sit down uh, probably once every two, three months um, and just get the, all the, you know, my drawers beside me and I just start pulling it on. And the other thing I started doing, and you guys might want to think about this when you're out car booting, um, I found, I love the color of this, right? So this was like a, some, a lady, it was yeah, obviously for her daughter, um, she had this big shabby chic um, sheet and it was this and I just I loved it because I love the colors and then I've got this wide lace so what I've started doing is I'm making my snippet rolls wide now because that way I can cut them down for pockets so this be on the lookout for that kind of stuff too guys if you see a sheet, a sheet don't worry if it's stained because it will just serve as the your base um, because prior to this, I was using muslin. Well, over here, number one, it's a little bit pricey. But the other thing is, you don't, you know, you've just got white. For where this, you've already got some color, and then you're building up from that. So then you can just start adding bits and pieces. So that's another little thing to think about when you're out at the thrift store and all. Cause see. I, you can see the base of this is the soft blue in it, so it's nice because it's just it's a, it's adding more to your snippet rolls. So yeah, I've started making these wider now, and that's proven to be very very um, a much better than doing the narrow ones because now I can then cut this off if I want to make a pocket in a journal. Um, so yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. I'm going to shut up now because my voice is starting to bother me again. But um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed that. And I will be back. I'm going to be doing quite a few of the little embellishment tutorials for you all. And I hope that um, that there will be some things that you can make use of in your projects. Um, so leave any you know recommendations or ideas of things that you want to see. Please feel free to... Um, request them, and if I can do them, I will certainly try. Take care, everybody. I'll see you here soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.